Through this video, we will learn how to set and apply multi-step frequency and multi-step acceleration and deceleration with G100. Multi-step control is applied to a wide variety of facilities and is a function that optimizes facility operation by implementing various speeds and acceleration and deceleration in each step depending on facility characteristics. Applicable loads include conveyors, fans, pumps, cranes, elevators, etc. Lift equipment is equipment that carries the load of the automation line and moves back and forth up and down. When this equipment is first started, it operates at high speed, and when nearing the stopping position, it operates at a low speed and then stops. Here, the acceleration-deceleration time can be set differently from the acceleration-deceleration time when rising and the acceleration-deceleration time when descending. You can set it to have slow acceleration-deceleration when items are loaded on the pallet and quick response when it's empty. The change in speed changes the speed of the motor as the contact signal when the pallet touches the sensor is input to the AC drive. Now, let's look at how to set the multi-step frequency and multi-step acceleration-deceleration functions. There are two ways to set up the multi-speed function. Digital contact definition and multi-step frequency or multi-step acceleration-deceleration time setting. Digital contact definition refers to the function performed when a signal is input to terminals P1 to P5. It can be set in in-group 65 to 69 parameters. In 69 P5 terminal block is set to speed L as the default value. For multi-step frequency, at least one of the terminal blocks P1 through P5 must be set to speed L, speed M, or speed H. For multi-stage acceleration-deceleration, at least one of the P1 through P5 terminal blocks must be set to XLL, XLM, or XLH. Depending on the input sequence of digital input speed L, M, H, the multi-steps operation operates in a binary sequence. If you look at the following table, you can check the input sequence for each stage, which can be checked through the IN90DI status parameter. When the multi-speed frequency P3 terminal, i.e. speed L, is turned on, the first stage is activated. When the P4 terminal, i.e. speed M, is turned on, second stage. When the P5 terminal, i.e. speed H, is turned on, it is in fourth stage. In other words, the multi-speed is determined depending on the input status of each terminal, and third, fifth, sixth, and seventh speeds can be achieved through a combination of terminals P3, P4, and P5. Multi-stage acceleration-deceleration also operates in the same sequence, and stages 1 to 7 of multi-stage acceleration-deceleration can be used depending on the input signals of XLL, M, and H. When the P3 terminal, i.e. XLL, and the P5 terminal, i.e. XLH, are on, it is in fifth gear. Let's learn about speed settings for each interval according to the signal input to the terminal. P3 terminal means first stage frequency, and first stage frequency value is set in operation group ST1 multi-step frequency 1. P4 terminal means the second stage frequency, and the second stage frequency value is set in operation group ST2 multi-stage frequency 2. If only the P5 terminal is input, it means the fourth frequency, 
and the fourth frequency value is set in BA53 multi-step frequency 4. If the P4 and P5 terminals come on at the same time, it means the sixth stage frequency, and the sixth stage frequency value is set in BA55 multi-step frequency 6. By this combination, the speed setting for each interval can be set up to BA56 multi-speed frequency 7. Let's look at the settings for multi-stage acceleration and deceleration. P3 terminal XLL means one speed, and first stage of multi-stage acceleration and deceleration is set in BA70 multi-stage acceleration time 1, and BA71 multi-stage deceleration time 1. P4 terminal XLM means two speed, and the second stage of multi-stage acceleration and deceleration is set in BA72 multi-stage acceleration time 2 and BA73 multi-stage deceleration time 2. Here, if the P3 and P4 terminals are input at the same time, the multi-stage acceleration and deceleration is set to three stages and the acceleration and deceleration times set in BA74 multi-stage acceleration time 3 and BA75 multi-stage deceleration time 3 are reflected. The status of the digital input of the terminal can be checked in parameter in 90 multifunction input terminal status. This is a parameter that displays the input status with bit display. It displays the input status of terminals P1 to P5 from right to left. Through this bit, you can check whether the multi-stage signal is being input properly. Let's find out the sequence in the lift load according to the input status through the test of multi-stage control. Ascending operation operates in the forward direction, descending operation operates as a reverse signal, and the speed is 55 Hz for multi-step first stage and 10 Hz for multi-step second stage. When ascending, it is general acceleration and deceleration, that is, acceleration and deceleration of operation group ACC, DEC, and when descending, it is set to operate in single-stage, multi-stage acceleration and deceleration. Contact input operates as follows. about the multi-speed control function above. Thank you.